You cannot limit your future income by celebrating yesterday's profits. The organizations that I see that cling and hang on to the old practices and the old ways, keep, they, cannot, they cannot get out of their head that that's the old way, we made money that way, going forward we're not going to be able to do it that way anymore. You have to innovate before you have to. Innovate before it's necessary. Innovate before you're number four on the innovation of whatever that is in your industry. I'll give you some examples. At Starbucks, for example, they don't even say, can I help you? They innovated the greeting at Starbucks. Now they say, what can we get started for you? Why on earth would they change the greeting? I'll tell you why. At Starbucks, they already have a pretty good idea why you're there. <laughs> They don't need to say, can I help you? Are you a helpless looking person? What do you... Nobody says, well, I was thinking about having coffee. Do you have uh, coffee here? Yeah. Well, what they do at Starbucks is they want to engage you. They want you to be a part of the process. They're respecting you. They know how much room you want. And if you want soy or cream, do you want it hot? Do you want it cold? Do you want it uh, mild? Do you want it medium? Do you want it dark? They, they, they are carrying you along the way. You tell us how we can serve you. We've taken that to AutoZone. Now, we've taught the guys at AutoZone, hey, this is what they're supposed to say when you walk in. Hey, what are you working on today? That's engaging. Nobody goes to an AutoZone store to window shop. They have a problem. <laughs> and this way, now we're partners in this process. Laramar Apartment Homes manages 55,000 units throughout North America. Here's their problem. They lose $5 million a year in pet deposits because people lie. People say, oh, you know, I have a small dog or a cat, I'm not going to tell them I don't have it, it's not that big a deal. The, even small pets, as I personally know, can cause a lot of damage. <laughs> so they put this out at the big meeting. There's a thousand people in the room, all the managers are there, and the CEO stands up at the podium and says, here's our problem, we have $5 million in losses here to this. Does anybody know how we can get our pet deposits? Anybody at all? And a hand goes up about midway back in the crowd. Guy from Tulsa, Oklahoma. I'm always getting my pet deposits. So now, now you can imagine when everybody turns to this guy. Uh, what, what, all right, what, what is it you're doing? Well, I get my pet deposits every time, but I did make an investment. Um, I bought myself a dog whistle. I just go up and down the hall blowing my whistle. <laughs> I find them dogs. <laughs> there, they're going over there too. <laughs> you know what this is? This is a fabulous example of underthinking the problem. A dog whistle? And nobody in that room could figure that out? Because as sophisticated business people, we must think there must be another issue. And it's not. It's simple. It's si they issued dog whistles to everybody in the organization. They've retrieved over $3 million in 10 months. They've got their managers walking them down the hall, blowing their whistles. You got a pet. No, I don't. There he comes up to the door. What's your dog whistle? That's the point. What's happening every day over and over again that maybe you could underthink the problem and ask somebody who is not supposed to be as smart as you are to come up with the answer? I love this example with uh, Mike Diamond Plumbing. They're in Southern California here, growing like crazy. You know, their marketing is so simple, it's causing them to grow. You know what their marketing is? We promise our plumber's gonna show up on time and smell good. <laughs> He got to the core of the problem, didn't he? The other thing they do, they, have, they invented the long, long, long shirt. And so what... It, <laughs> you, you, know, you know where I'm going with this. <laughs> Your plumber could weigh 372 pounds, bend in half like a gymnast, you'd see nothing. 